This has got to fix it. Some Damascus. We've got some 1030 and uh, 5 and 20. I'm just going to clean them up a little bit on the grinder. Okay. So, let's start off. First time doing Damascus, but we're going to use our 15 and 20 in between. So, just going to do it kind of easy. Got the metal cleaned up. The dimensions are the same. Our MIG welder. First time ever using a MIG welder. That'd be interesting. And then once we get it joined, starting off easy, we're only going to use three layers. I'll cut it into probably about three inch billets. And then I'll get a uh, rebar connected to it and <coughs> welded to it and get them heated up. And the nickel here are the are the five and twenty is just going to give us some nice color. I'm going to try the uh, raindrop type Damascus. And uh, once we get that three inch billet formed and forge welded, uh, I'll get it pounded, pounded out a little bit flatter, and then um, fold it over on itself and do maybe two or three folds. And then I'd like to make a blade to um, put on my folding knife because my my uh, blade's kind of wearing out so we're going to clean this up with acetone and then we'll go ahead and do the welding all right we got our welder plugged in we're going to turn it on we've got our spool all set up we're going to we're going to make sure we keep this relatively straight. Use the micro switch to feed that line in. I'm going to get it about right there. You can see it feeding it right here. There we go. There's our wire. Cool. All right. So we're all set. We're just going to clean up the metal a little bit more and then we can start welding. Just wanted to get that ready. Work all set up, put it in the vise, get that tight. Everything looks dimensional. Got a little straighter. Alright, get that a little tighter in the vise. Good. <clears throat> We're starting off <coughs> with the uh, speed here at three for the fine tuning. We have minimum, we have one, and we're going to put on our auto darkening helmet and give it a try. Just want to put a few beads like that on this side and we'll flip it up. We got our visor on, got our gun ready, gonna turn this on. <clears throat> okay, put a little bead here. We're going to grind, clean up this before we attach it. 
you know, it's bare metal. Up the same. Alright, we got a piece of rebar. <clears throat> We're just going to tack it on to <clears throat> our billet. Make it easier to grab. Got that all cleaned up. Get it central. I don't think it's hot enough to get this rebar to join. So I'm going to go up to the next <coughs> higher setting. See if that helps. starting the world. Yeah, this seems solid. I wonder if it'll take uh, to being heat heated and, and pounded though. Probably. Sure, we don't have a lot of sp uh, splatter, but so with this Vivo Home MIG welder, it looks like if I go to the maximum setting and the maximum two, and I have this um, fine tune adjustment all the way down for the feed for how fast the wire feeds, looks like it does good. We move able to get a more substantial weld, so I think I'm getting used to it. <clears throat> These are some earlier ones that are just kind of jumping around, just a little slag. But to make a continuous one that will hold the metal together, I find that if I take a little more time, these hotter settings, I can do it. That crackle sound like, like frying bacon. So that's a little bit better. Definitely got two, two sections welded together, maybe not the third. That nice fried bacon sound. Alright, let's see if that holds together in the forge. This this uh, stick is on there pretty good. On an area you'd like to weld, it is good because you're going to get some oxidation and spatter. But you can use your wire brush. It actually came with the kit. Kind of clean it up first and you're, you're going to get a better weld. Let's try right here. Just taking a little more time to get hotter. Yeah, that's a pretty good bead then. The other ones, you know, you got a glob and a glob. The straight line is binding all all four layers of metal together, so that's good. Let's try that here too. We're going to do the same concept. Clean this up first and get it shiny. So this is all in preparation to do Damascus. 
All right, let's try this one. <clears throat> Big bead. All right, that's good. I think that'll hold. This is my first uh, welding attempt with the MIG welder, and some of these, most of these are really awful looking. Um, and won't, won't even work. Um, it's able to get the rebar stick on there pretty good. I got it all cleaned up. When I use the hotter settings on the Vivo Home MIG welder, the hottest settings it, it had, if I took more time, I was able to get a continuous bead that would hold all three of these layers together for Damascus. But when I went too fast, uh, it seemed like it wanted to avoid the uh, nickel plated. Maybe the nickel needs to get hotter for it to weld. But by going slower with a hotter setting, I did get a few continuous. So when you grind these off, you can see a little bit better how it did. Like that'll hold for sure. That won't. That might. That will. And we'll see though when we. I'm going to put a few more beads. I'll get this cleaned up really shiny and put a few more on here before I do the forge welding and uh, we'll see how, how it holds up. Will this stick stay on when we're pounding it? Uh, will the heat break the welds? We'll see. We'll heat it up, get this super, super hot, put our borax, our flux there to help it get rid of oxidation and then we'll gently set our welds and if we get the right sound frequency like it's set, we'll pound them down really good, try and make one continuous billet. So, pretty interesting. I like it. It's pretty fun when you have even that cheap $100 MIG welder. It, it can work for um, your knife making projects.